In this video, we're going to talk about PRF, platelet rich fibrin, and I want to talk specifically about you know, how it impacts wound healing in so many fields of medicine, and it's very, very straightforward. When we talk about platelet rich fibrin, there's really three main growth factors that are found in blood, and they each have uh, their specific roles. So we all know and we've all heard, you know, PRF has VEGF, which is vascular endothelial growth factor, and that promotes angiogenesis, so new blood flow, and that's very important for regeneration of all tissues. Number two, PDGF, platelet-derived growth factor, and that's a growth factor that's found, um, it's a re recombinant growth factor today, but it's found, of course, by platelets, and there's many platelets in blood, and they help with recruitment of, of cells, okay? So that's their main activities to help recruit stem cells to the local environment. And then the third one is TGF-beta that helps with proliferating, so it helps these cells, you know, multiply and replicate. And those are the three properties that, um, PRF typically, you know, improves. Now, it's very important to understand with platelet-rich fibrin, unlike other growth factors, that it can help almost any tissue regenerate slightly or, you know, to different potentials. But in any event, the point that I want to make here is that if, for example, you know, you have an extraction socket and you place platelet-rich fibrin in this extraction socket, well, how is it going to work and how is it going to help you make new bone? And the studies have shown, um, there's been some nice studies by uh, Nelson Pinto and Mark Karunin's group that have shown that it can limit dimensional changes, etc. Maybe not as effectively as a bone graft, but you know, there is some bony potential there. How does it work? Well, PRF goes inside the extraction socket. First thing it does is it improves angiogenesis. So blood flow is rushing in. Number two, it helps recruit cells. What cells are being recruited? Well, all the cells from the bone walls, right? If I have all my bone walls and I got my buccal plate, bone cells get recruited in and then they multiply. So you get more bone cells, makes more bone. And that's how that works. Where people get into trouble with platelet-rich fibrin, let's say that same case, now I'm missing a buccal plate. If I'm missing that buccal plate now, okay, I put platelet-rich fibrin in there, I get angiogenesis, we're getting new blood flow, then cell recruitment. Well, now I have bone cells that are being recruited and I also have soft tissue cells that are being recruited because I don't have a buccal plate. And then what multiplies faster? Soft tissue cells or bone cells? Answer, soft tissue cells, and that's where people get into problems, okay? So it's very, very important, of course, to understand these three properties and how to use them, you know, for regenerative purposes. It's the same reason why, you know, you can use PRF for gingival grafting, okay? Because it's going to help with revascularizing these areas, which is important will help cells recruit and then help them proliferate, okay? Same reason why you can use it in a knee injection. How does it work when you inject it into somebody's knee? Well, it helps re-stimulate blood flow, which cartilage is typically avascular, so it helps revascularize. It's gonna recruit cells. What cells are in the area? Well, it's cartilage, so there's chondrocytes there. More cartilage cells are gonna get recruited and they're gonna proliferate, so you have more chondrocytes and they'll help you make more cartilage, okay? And that's the reason why you can use it in all these different areas. Now, it's very important to understand that it's not, you know, an inductive material or osteoinductive material, right? I can't put it in muscle and expect it's going to make bone because I don't have bone cells in that area. So that's how platelet-rich fibrin works. It's very different than some of the other growth factors. And one of the reasons why it can be used to stimulate and help uh, the regeneration of most tissues.